evening and welcome to another show of Songwriters in the Round. My name is Julie Darty, and we're taping here at the beautiful SATV studios in downtown Salem. And uh, with me tonight I have uh, some musical friends, Alan Estes, uh, Roger Pierce, Steve Sadler, Richard Grace, and Woody Woodward. We're going to be trading some songs tonight and I'm going to start off with a little tune I wrote called Luck from Lady Love. Up now. Yeah. So, Alan, uh, geez, you've been down in Nashville for how many years now? Nine. Wow. Nine years. And you're going to be a dad soon. 
Yeah, but that didn't happen in now. <laughs> that was nine so months. Obviously, oh, I've been okay, spending some time up here. <laughs> you can't do some things by mail, you know. And you're also coming out with a new album. Mm hmm Yeah. And uh, that should be be released any day now. Oh, all right. Are you going to play us something from that? Yes. Great. This is something from it. Uh, this is called Look at What Love Has Done to You, written with David Mallet. Oh. Another fellow New Englander. Back out on your own again I can still remember when You were talking about somebody That one didn't last too long Tell me, baby, if I'm wrong But ain't you getting good at feeling blue? Look at what love has done to you Think about all it's put you through Getting to tear your heart in two Look at what love has done to you Shouldn't you give yourself a break? Haven't you made enough mistakes? Right from your head down to your shoes. Look at what love has done to you. together, haven't you? You sure have. There must be something from well, coming from Maine, you know? Mm. <laughs> we both ate a lot of potatoes, I guess, is what it is. <laughs> that helps yeah. when you're doing thing. songwriting. Roger Pierce, you play, uh, you play in a group with your wife called Tamarack. Play around here quite a lot. Right. And for many years now. You're many. about 80 years old by now, aren't you? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Too many years old. Two weeks, I'll be 80. <laughs> But you don't actually do a lot of your original <laughs> stuff when you play out, do you? No, we don't. Yeah, so this is a nice, probably a nice change for you to come in and... Yes, it is. Yeah, well, do one for us. We're dying to hear it. Well, this is interesting, because this song was written in Maine also, when we lived in Maine. So there must be something about Maine. I've been out of the service for a number of years when uh, this was written, but uh, basically it's a semi-autobiographical song written for my son, Mark. It's called Mark My Words. It was a time to remember I still see it crystal clear All the faces that were marching All the love instead of fear 
Arm in arm we march together With a hope of ending war So that never would our children know These hatreds anymore But they took away our leaders With a vengeance that saw all of us Stand in shock confusion We watched both of them fall It was early 1968 What could we do or say? First Martin shot in Memphis And then Bobby in L.A. And mark my words They are meant for you to hear They can take away our heroes They can prey upon our fears But they can never quench the spirit Of what these men stood for Throughout history they sparkle And they will forevermore Yeah, but our people struggled onward To ridicule and scorn In late 1968 You, my son, were born But it wasn't easy for you As you fought hard to survive And I was far away from you Tried to stay alive Fourteen thousand miles across the world And I could not understand Why I was sent to Vietnam To kill another man And the fury built inside me And I could not make it cease All I wanted was to see you All I wanted here was peace And mark my words I remember all those years Even now it seems so long ago Still I feel the burning tears And so many people died so hard For what we'll never know All the universal soldiers All the poor and tortured souls But that was then This is now life that doesn't really change There's a different set of characters And events are rearranged But the same mistakes are made again So many more will die And we'll never know what happened No, we'll never know just why And it has no beginning God, I think it has no end And I cannot bear to watch it start all over once again And I can't believe they'll do it like so many times before Will they make a horror scene so holy in just one more glorious war? When did you write that? It was 14 years after 1968. Mm. Oh. Can I carry Anybody the one? Anybody got a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> this is new math. It's 1975, I guess. Uh, nice harmonica I mean, on that. That's kind of really very pretty. Um, I'm going to do a song here uh, that I wrote fairly recently. And a song about the ocean, kind of. Ocean and love. This is called Be My Anchor Tonight.
sun surrendering its light. Faded ripples on the water Say the sea is gone to night But no one knows the depths I've seen Keeping solid ground But that's a nice uh, little pick guard you got on there. It kind of screams at you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't L wake up? off the light. <laughs> it's got the points in the proper it places. It really does. Any new stories to tell us, Steve? I don't know. You know. I was wondering how many gold lames gave their lives for that pick guard, actually, as I was sitting here. <laughs> Well, so I'm immersed, I'm immersed <laughs> in deep thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this has been rubbed hard Ooh. and fast mm. for many a year, and that's why it shines so well. Actually, this comes off an old Gretsch guitar. Oh, no, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do you want me to do why another don't you song? Do another song? <laughs> this, uh, I suppose, is from your new CD as well, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, sure and when is. is that going to be available? Um, it, anytime now. It, we have a mailing list um, that you can. Send for it, and that's um, 3 June Street, Pepperell, Mass, 01463, Alan Estes Fan Club. All right. And um, we're going to be doing a CD release party 
uh, October 23rd, right here in Salem at the oh, Chase awesome. House upstairs. Oh, great. Which is a Sunday evening from 6 to 10, so for more information, you can, you know, uh, write to our mailing list or what's the number here? 4338991 and call and get some more information. Great. Yeah. That's well. about all I can tell you right now. Yeah. We're expecting them in the mail any day, so. Great. Well, if we're not working, we'll certainly be doing something. I hope so. We'll get you up to sing. Yeah, that'd be fine. All right. Uh, this is called Here We Go. talk it over Maybe we should take it slow But it's too late for turning back now Here I am I'd love it if it were. Right? That you use that gets you going, like, you know, do you have, uh, to get you writing? I mean, is there something, a formula that you have that you can share? No, with? no real special formula. Um, one of three things happens. Usually I'm sitting around with, you know, my guitar and a melodic idea comes to me, and that'll be the start of it. Or I'm riding around in my truck and um, a lyric idea will come. Do you carry a tape player with you everywhere you go? I try to, or a little notebook or yeah, something, because I've lost idea. many, many ideas yeah. from just saying, I'll write that down later. Yeah. I Actually, you know, do yeah. you do that a lot, Richard, when you write? Because you, you write constantly. I have to write everything or I forget it. If I don't write it right away, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a... So that's the trick. <laughs> do you have a ritual that 
don't you go through, Roger, when you're trying to write? I know. I've, I'm same, I've had the same experience. I'll be driving in the car and go, boy, what a great, the new blue Subaru, something like that is running <laughs> through my head. And I think, and I get home and say, the new red, and you, you've lost it, you know. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I, I, I have a tendency to write stuff down while I'm driving, scribbling, you know, and trying to drive and write at the same time. I, I can't read it afterwards. Yeah. But, I don't know if this happens to anybody, but I'll, I've woken up a few times from a dead sleep and thought, I better write that down, yawn, yawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And usually that's Sometimes where, that's where it happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's good to know. As it's they say about songwriting, it's... Uh, 5% inspiration and 95% perspiration. So, I mean, yep. the original idea, you know, is the creative force that somehow comes through you when you right. least expect it. Then the rest is a matter of finding the time That's to sit down and work on it. getting into a routine of, you know, getting yeah. yourself going on a regular basis. I mean, you know, when you think in terms of, like, what rhymes and where am I going to go here and what do I want to do melodically and stuff, that's, it becomes a craft, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I should mention our, uh, I think we're the official SATV uh, musical band here, Steve Sadler, <laughs> either on mandolin, guitar, or dobro now. Well, um, Richie Grace on harmonica and guitar, and Woody Woodward on, holding the fort down on bass over there. <laughs> and of course, Ziggy, who is the musical director. But I think we're going to do another song here featuring Roger. Tell us about this song, Roger. This is a song that, uh, this is interesting, because I wrote the song, I don't know how many years ago, but... Uh, I didn't do it for seven years, I don't think. And then one night, I, we were in Dexter, Maine, singing. And uh, I'd written it for my wife, Fran, and uh, she didn't even know that. And uh, I just started doing it. And it felt kind of good, so I said, well, that's not bad. So we've done it off and on since then, and since told her that it was for her. She was probably standing there going, who is that woman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who is she? I love that. It's called How Many Times. building here. Here we go. How many times have I told you I love you? Not enough, I am sure. I could have told you a thousand times and I thought it a million times more. Let me just say that there's never enough to say. Let me just try to get through. I get to tell you just one more time. I get to say I love you. Sitting beside you, holding your hand Walking the woods in moonlight How could I ever ask you for more Than to just be beside you tonight But the look in your eyes and the way that I feel Who knows when it will end So honey, I'm telling you now so you know This time isn't really our friend I said how many times have I told you I love you? Not enough, I'm sure. I could have told you a thousand times and I thought it a million times more. Let me just say that there's never enough to say. Let me just try to get through. I get to tell you just one more time. I get to say I love you. Spending my lifetime and breaking my back Working my whole life away Passing the moments that never come twice And ignoring things that I should say But the look in your eyes and the way that I feel Who knows when it will end Honey, I'm telling you now so you know This time isn't really our friend said How many times have I told you I love you Not enough, I'm sure I could have told you a thousand times And I thought it a million times more Let me just say that there's never enough to say Let me just try to get through I get to tell you just one more time I get to say I love you, yes I get to tell you just one more time I get to say I love you Happy birthday, Fran. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice. Actually, no, a couple of days, though. Oh, all right, well, forget it. We take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I guess uh, we've come to the end of uh, another one of our songwriter's shows, and uh, hopefully we're going to be doing a lot more of these. But yeah. I, think, um, I think we should have Steve Sadler take us out with uh, some wonderful mm -hmm. instrumental that he's worked up on his <laughs> spare time. In my only spare time, yes. <laughs> What's the name of this one? See You in My Dreams. Oh, I like this one. Well, thank you, Alan Estes. Good luck with your new CD. Thank you. Thank you, Roger Pierce. Thank you for Happy me. birthday, Fran. My husband, Woody Woodward. We have an anniversary coming up. I won't mention it. Happy tomorrow. anniversary. <laughs> now, Woody knows. <laughs> Richie Grace, beautiful <laughs> harmonica playing. And his uh, lovely dog, Ziggy. Steve Sadler. On every instrument imaginable. The way he's staring at me bothers me. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Take care. These are the adult chords. <laughs> X-rated. <laughs>